All right, oh, there's the opening. Little frozen. Oh, hello, Tickety Talk. We'll be starting momentarily. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Make some noise. Woo! We're here in the press room. Go ahead. Fantastic. We've got hundreds and hundreds of reporters here. I'm the presumptive. This is in the way. Someone keeps moving this. All right. Oh, this, this, this is very hot. There's a light behind me, and it's very, very hot. What happened here? Something got moved. Something fell over. Oh, God. All right. Bear with me, folks. We're having technical issues right out of the gate. Not good. Not good. I'm firing everybody. Okay, that's much better. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to my weekly press conference. Other than Nikki stab me in the back, Haley, we are off to a fantastic mm. start. I am the presumptive nominee. Nominee. But as we do this every week, every week I have to hug this flag right here. I'm going to hug. There's this flag. And the, I always tickle the tassels. Make sure you tickle the tassels. I always say that. And then come over here. This one's very jealous. This was the one on the left is very jealous. There we go. Oh, I have a lot of people to thank, but first we have Thanks a brand new sponsor. We have a brand new sponsor. Uh, it's me. It's Trump Spunk. If you want a Trump baby, we're now selling Trump Spunk. It's a thousand dollars a bottle. We are going to repopulate this country with all Trumps. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Trump Spunk. I whipped this up this morning. It's best. still warm. It's really incredible. It has a very delightful aroma. You're going to love it. We'll we'll ship it to you fresh. We'll ship it to you fresh. Uh, starting off, we keep growing in our members. Now, as you can see, if you're watching right now, we have a hundred and four thousand subscribers we have close to six million on the tickety talk here on white tea i have to call it white tea because tickety talk talk about jealous holy cow uh but we have a lot of members here on white tea i want to mention a few of them uh we have our newest members we have the wonderful janice bunch janice bunch has always been very active in the comments janice always great comments we've got uh is it air medium too uh, over medium. Over medium too. Over medium too. And Jojetta. I think I Jota. Oh, Jota. Jota leaves great comments. Thank you, Jota. Uh, flies, flies can be. Jota, flies can be. I love her. She's fantastic. I love all of my new members. I love all of my regular members. Not Vladimir Putin, Silk Shouter, Bo Bex. I'm not going to name everybody. Maybe I will a little later. Did we already get money? Did uh, we already get yeah, money? Yeah, I actually have a few announcements for you. Mr. Please go right ahead with the announcements. Uh, so first off, right off the bat, we got a donation from Joetta Flies Can Be, who is a jo member. For Joetta, $5. I love you, Thank Joetta. You. See Woo. that? They, she loves me and I love her. Uh, yeah. Kitty Witty gifted a uh, membership to Sharon MC. Thank you, Kitty uh, By Whitty. the way, folks, I love, go ahead, make some noise. I think this is yes. wonderful. Thank you. Woo. I think it's wonderful. Super chats are wonderful. But if you want to gift a membership to somebody else, I think that's fantastic. It's the greatest gift you can give other than giving money directly to me. Money directly to me is great, but members are fantastic. Go ahead, Cash. A few more things. Uh, $10 donation from Thomas Riegler. Oh, Thomas. Thank you. Thomas. Thank you. Uh, Andre Savard has become a gold groupie. Thank you. Wow, Andre, thank you so much. Andre the Giant, he's fantastic. That's yeah. incredible. Uh, ten, I believe those are pounds uh, from Yerf Dog Durf. Yerf Dog Durf? Yes. Yerf Dog Durf, that sounds like someone we know. We have a, we have a question from one of the reporters. By the way, we have two fantastic reporters here today, along with the live audience. We have, uh, who do we have reporting? Uh, Pam Yeager from the Totally Entitled News Service. Totally Entitled News. You must yes. be a millennial or a millennial, one okay, of those people. Whatever. Anyway, did you leave the courthouse to make this presser today? Yes, I did, because this presser is so much more Thanks important than chat. being accused of a rigged uh, assault. I'm not going to use the S word because I don't want to get kicked off of either one of these platforms. This person who, who says these things about me. And by the way, the judge... The Judge Kaplan, I never like this guy. And he doesn't like me, and he wants to put me in contempt. But I will go to jail for all of you. Because they're not coming for me, folks. They're coming for you. You're the ones who touched that woman, not me. 
All right, next so question. So our, our friend Thomas Riegler was the one who asked that question. He also wants to know, where did you go? Oh, where did you go? I got in my car and I came right here to the studio. Mm -hmm. Right here, I came in, we flew down uh, from New York to Mar-a-Lago where we have this beautiful White House press room. This beautiful White House press room. Thanks for I want to welcome chat. everybody here. By the way, if you are watching and you are not a subscriber, subscribe. It's totally free. It's totally free. And you get me. You get me, the greatest president of the history of presidents, other than the late, great Abe Lincoln, whose wife was maybe a three, just like the woman who accused me of saying what she said. She's not my type, folks. She's not my type. And that's why I, that's why I got so upset. But you know who is my type? Alita Haba. Alita Haba. And guess what? Alita Haba used Trump spunk, <laughs> and she's carrying my brand new super baby. My brand new super baby, Trump spunk, only a thousand dollars a jar. I guarantee you, by November fifth, we'll have an army of little Trumps. Go ahead. Hi, it's Diane Davis from Gefilte Fish Magazine. Diane, how are you? Oh, Folks, we love Diane. T. She's so great. The Jewish people love me. Gefilte Fish Magazine oh. had me in their centerfold a couple of months ago, which I thought was very nice. Yes, Thank that's you, Diane. schlong. Okay. That, that was, that was quite a schlong. <laughs> it was a waffle. Uh, it's so GMAS said, sir, 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 would it please if Nikki Haley just changed her name to Nancy? Nancy, I think it would help. I mean, NH, you know, she got a little boost because her initials are NH and she ran in NH, New Hampshire. Mm. But if it hadn't been the same initials, it would have been horrible. She would have went down in flames, which she did, by the way, which she did. Tim Scott, she just, he kissed my butt on stage. He's, he's a wonderful guy, that Tim Scott. <laughs> Go ahead. Next, oh, what do, do we, we have, have a question? Yes, we do. Um, what do we have? Mr. President, it's Pammy Sue Baker, Miss Louisiana. Oh, Pammy Sue, you were in the Miss Universe pageant. You were so great. You were so tight back then with those big arthritic hands. It was yeah. very sexy. Yeah, well, that very was sexy. about 30 years ago. That but was. Now, you, now look now great. you look great now, though. Thank you, look you. Great Botox now. and Spanx. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, from Magnolia Pageant Magazine now, and I wanted to ask you, oh, my gosh, uh, interrupted by Biden ad. Were you interrupted by the Biden ad? It looks like Karen Lease. Ask that. I heard about <laughs> that people are buying time on my press conferences and Sleepy Joseph. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this guy Trump. Oh, gosh. Oh, Sarsaparilla. Malarkey. Listen, <laughs> he's walking around the White House in circles, folks. It's unbelievable. And this is what he's doing. He's cheating. He's cheating. He's buying time on my press conference. Don't watch the commercial. Well, watch the commercials because I get You know what? Watch the commercials because I make money. Every time Sleepy Joe buys time on my press conference. Oh, oh, come on, man. This guy doesn't know where he is. Oh, and they say, I listen, uh, go ahead, Cass, go ahead. Uh, this question comes from Kitty Witty. Kitty Witty! A new member. Uh, sir, sir, mm -hmm. sir, why do you call Nikki Haley bird brain? I call her bird brain because she's a bird brain. Uh, and people are saying it's not one of my best insults, but I think it's a great insult because it's a perfect insult. Bra birds, who I actually like because they, they are murdered by the thousands, by the windmills. Zzz, zzz. I've been to the I've been to the graveyards of the birds, but uh, they have tiny P-shaped brains. And Nikki Haley has a tiny P-shaped brain. I mean, who would ever hire her for anything? Well, other than me, because I, I assigned her to the UN. But back then, she was smart. Now she's dumb. She's a bird brain. Go ahead. Do we have another question? We have more money coming in, don't we? Yes, sir. You got a donation from Satser. Satser. Ooh, we love Satser. Thank you, Satser. Thank you, Satser. For, thank you, Satser. For $19.99. Wow, $19.99. You. You're, you're getting close to your jar of Trump spunk. <laughs> Just a couple, ten yeah. more of those, and you get your jar of Trump, uh, Trump spunk. Give it to your girlfriend. You'll have a Trump baby within nine months. It'll be fantastic. Go right ahead. Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Karen. Karen, how are you, Karen? Just we Karen. love the Ka we love the Karens. Maga loves the Karens. The manager let me in. Ah. Uh, sir, sir, sir. It seems that you found the magical UV light up your butt. How did it? Well, the, let me tell you something about the UV light, because this happened during the medical COVID press conferences, and what was happening was I figured it out, because I heard if you had put UV light on, like, uh, bacteria, it chat. kills the bacteria, and I thought, wait a minute, because I'm a stable genius, I said, let's take that UV light, and do you know what UV stands for? Ultraviolet. 
ultraviolet. You stick it up there, and then it goes in there, and it just high karate's the COVID and all of that other stuff, and then it goes away, and that means you don't need all that other stuff. But I got the secret serum to the finish line faster than anybody. They were saying it was going to take, uh, what do they call it? Not a serum. What do they, what do they call it? The, uh, what do they call it? They call it the uh, vaccination stuff. Uh, uh, they said they said it would take nine, ten years. I did it in nine months. That's me. But take it, don't take it, do whatever you like. Okay, go right ahead. Thanks for the super. You chat. got a donation it, from? Sorry. Go ahead, money. Uh, donation I, from Mike Timmons for four ninety nine. Thank you, Mike. Mike Timmons, I loved him in the Backstreet Boys. Thank you, Mike Timmons. Go ahead. We have this gentleman in the back. What is your name, sir? Question: Bob from the TikTok Times. Bob from the TikTok Times or the Tickety Talk Times. The Tickety Talk Times here. Uh, quick question: Want to know what's your views on uh, the Cat Williams interview? Oh, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. This is the biggest interview in other than me, of course. Cat Williams told it like it is. He told it like it is. And that's why I like him. I like Kanye. They tell the truth. They tell the truth. I think it was on Shea something. And they had over 50 million views on this. And and uh, let me tell you something. Cat Williams, if you're watching, you could be my VP. You can be my VP, Cat. You're, you tell it like it is. I tell it like it is. You know, and you're shorter than me, which is great because in interviews you'll be a little, little shorter than me. But I like the Cat Williams. He's funny. He's a funny guy. I think he was in. Wasn't he in Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo? That's a very <laughs> funny movie. It's politically incorrect, but I'm politically incorrect. But that's okay. That's okay. Go right ahead. Hello, it's Emma Simon from the Grammatically Correct British News. Oh, the British. I love the British. I love the English people. Great. They stole our language, but that's okay. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, Zaphoy Beetlebrock says, Sir, 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 I have never voted in America elections. I have missed the last eight. I eight. don't have a computer on a TV. How do I know who to vote for in the future and for generations to come? Well, if you haven't voted in the last eight, you haven't been around for a while. But let me tell you something. I am somebody that everyone knows and everyone loves. Joe Biden is part of the deep state, but I am not part of any state. And I think you should vote for me. I'm looking right at the cat. What's his name again? Beetlebum? Sapphoid. 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 I'm looking right at you. You should vote for me because I am going to make America great again, again. So it's going to be mega gaga. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Believe me. Do we have a question? Down in front, this young lady who looks like my assistant. You got a donation from Lisa Mitchell for $10. Woo! Lisa Mitchell. Woo! Folks, we are raising money to fly Lisa Mitchell in from West Virginia, a great state. I want it. And have her here in the press room. Lisa Mitchell has been so incredible. She's a member. Yes. She sends money constantly. That's my favorite thing. So, Lisa, we're going to get you here eventually by by the election. By the election. It's going to be incredible. And she had a question with that donation. Mr. President, did you refer to E. Jean Carroll as E or E. Jean or E. J. C.? E. J. C. E. J. C. I like that. I like E. J. C. But I never met her. I never met her. I met her husband, but I never met her. And her husband was African American, and and she said nasty things about her husband. But I'm not allowed to bring chat. that up in court. And she named her dog Vagina. She named her dog uh. Vagina or Cat Vagina, whatever. But I'm not allowed to bring that up in court. I think that's very, very sad. Uh, but while we have a moment, I want you to hit the subscribe on the on the YT subscribe. It's free. And on the Tickety Talk, I want you to follow me. And we have a question from. Uh, in the back, this gentleman. Yee yee, my name is Steve from Dallas, Texas. Steve, I like that accent. I love the Dallas people. I won big. I won big in Texas. I, I got a good Dallas. I got a good one for you. I wanna know what are your thoughts of Biden and Kanye West collaborating for an album? What do you what do you think about that? Well, I listen, I I, I know that Kanye Kanye's been to the White House. I've sat across from him. He's a very <laughs> I'm a stable genius. He's a genius. I like him. I like the graduation album. But Biden is a stutterer, and I don't think he'll be able to rap. Like, oh, oh, come on, man. What's going on? Come on, Kanye. Help me out. And Kanye will be like, those shorts were lit. Those shorts were lit because Nike pulled my deal, and I lost $2 billion, which is sad. Go right ahead. Uh, SatServe donated another nine ninety nine. Thank you, SatServe. Let's hear it for SatServe. Yeah. Thank you. 
Doesn't SatServe sound like a satellite that's right above us right now, just going right by? SatServe, SatServe. Uh, he did say to address his above question, so I'm going to look for that. Go and ahead. We're going to you find your quick. question, SatServe. We, 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 we value you very much. Found it. Very, very much. He Keep said, up. how would SatServe become a super duper bing bing bong she whoosh golden plated bigly plutonium plutonium member well uh, th that is a new category <laughs> we're working on it's the bing bong bong bing bing bong plutonium uh, alloy everything we're gonna have everything all mixed together all the things i like we may even add a little elon musk to that bing bong bong bing ding dong you know what i mean but we're gonna work on that because that will be the ultimate ultimate membership where you will get to have a meal with me we'll spend some time together we'll golf together and i don't cheat i don't cheat i always win go right ahead Yo, 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 Mr. T, it's P Money from F45 TV. Hey, P Best Money, how super are you, super sweetie? Oh, all right. Listen, Tom Dag says Sir King Trump, Melania, and Justin Trudeau. Is it true? Well, I don't think, listen, I haven't seen Melania. As we say every week here on The Presser, is Melania here, by the way? No, she's not here. Um, we're, we, Melania and I are very, very happy. There was a video of me putting her in the car this week. I have heard these ridiculous, ridiculous claims, gossip, all gossip, that she has been seen with Justin Trudeau, which I think is horrible. But then again, I've been seen with Alina Haba. But Melania has given me unlimited immunity unlimited immunities, which I think is great. And I think the U.S. Supreme Court is going to give me unlimited immunity, even if I cross the line. All right, go ahead. Hi, it's Diane Davis from Diane, the Delta Fish oh, yeah. Magazine be, again. Diane, could you stand up? Yes. Oh, you are standing. Yes, okay, I Okay, never mind. Never I'm mind. Sorry. Go ahead, sweetie. I'm sorry. My I love your get selfies. In the way. I love your selfies. We'll <laughs> have your heads in there. Yeah, it's, That's it's good. bad selfies is what it is. Bad selfies. It's bad so selfies. great. So TV Daryl says, sir. TV Daryl. We love the TV Daryl. He's not a member. He's not a member, so I might not answer the question, oh. but go ahead. Oh, you do that, Daryl. What's wrong with you? Go ask your mother for the money, for goodness sakes. Sir, do you think you can win the independence? I think I can win the independent vote. I, I'm assuming that's what he means by the independence. Yeah. I think I can win the independent vote because I am independent. I am independent of everyone and everything. I say what's on my mind and the independents love that. We are going to make America great again. And I want to say this, the stock market through the roof, the economy through the roof. And why is that happening? Because I'm running, because I'm running. And I think the independents like money and they like a strong economy, and they like lower gas, and that's all because of me, which is incredible, because people are doing things now, just the mere fact that I'm running. Not because Biden president. Go ahead, sweetie. This question comes from Nate Wattle. Nate Wattle, oh, I like that name, <laughs> Nate Wattle. He Nate sounds like a pro football player from the 60s. <laughs> he asked, would you mind being put in the locker with Alina Haba the way the judge offered her to be put in the locker today? Oh. I would love to be in there with Alina. Yeah. I think Alina's super hot. She's like a younger Melania. You know, I always say 44 and out the door. I, I've given grace to Melania, but uh, 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 Alina Haba, she's very young. And her birthday was this past week. Happy birthday, Alina. Happy 29th birthday, birthday sweetie. She's so smart. The best. She's so smart. Lock me up. Lock me up. Lock me up with Alina Haba. Go ahead. Lisa Mitchell gifted a membership. Oh. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> gifted to Screams. Who is it? Who's it to? Their name is Screams. Screams. Oh, and what's on the little screen right there? We got a gifted. I love those little animations. Where are they, are they here or are they here? Where are they? they that uh, way? Yeah, that this way, side. This way, yeah. right here? A little animation right here. I love those. <laughs> I love those. It's incredible. It's a little me. It's a little me. It's very good. Uh, the lady in the back. Yes, it's Pam Yeager from the Totally Entitled News. Oh, that's right. The lady from the 80s. That's okay, right. Okay, go right ahead. Yes, and um, Nate Waddle says, Nate uh, Waddle. How can you stand there in your depends and claim to be independent? <laughs> well, because that's why I am independent. I'm wearing the depends. I can go anywhere, do anything. I don't have to. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh. Oh. See that? Oh. I didn't even have to leave. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, God. Okay. I oh. didn't even have to leave. That's true independence. Depend. And by the way, they're called depend, not depends. 
I was corrected this week. I was corrected this week. It's depend. I don't know why they're called depend. It should be depends because you get a multi pack. You get six in a pack. And they're fabulous. And you know what I mean? I don't even call them depends. I call them executives. They're for busy executives on the go. That's what they are. And I think everyone should be wearing them. And it would save us all a lot of time. Go right ahead. We have a question. Uh, this comment actually comes from Sat Serve. Sat Serve. He Woo. said. You and your staff are the best. Keep up the great work. Just finishing up my Clorox from the amazing Trump mug I purchased. Isn't that great? Isn't it delicious? It just goes right down. There's a photo of me floating around on the internet of a big thing like this, and then I got in trouble. I believe that is an emote that the members can use. Oh, that is an emote. We have an emoji. We have an emoji. We have an emoji. Oh, do we? We just hit 10,000 people live. Holy currently. Oh, wow. wow. That's crazy. Anything you want to say to these 10,000? Well, I want to say, listen, to all of you on the Tickety Talk right now, we want to say thank you so much for watching. We're on the YT. We're on the Tickety Talk. We just hit 10,000 people watching live on the Tickety Talk. Send in your questions. Let me know where you're from. We want to find out the furthest place you're from right now. And we want the same thing on YouTube along with your questions. Let me know where you're from. It'll be absolutely fantastic. We have a moment. We have to take a commercial break, right? We have to take a commercial break. All right, folks, do you want a Trump baby in your house? Do you want an <laughs> army of Trumps from coast to coast? Then you need Trump spunk. I've been working very, very hard. My Trump Tower is very sore producing <laughs> this man goo for you. In nine months, we can have an absolute army of Trumps. And at the inauguration in January of 2025, you can hold up your Trump baby and hi -oh, hi -oh, hi -oh. I don't speak Swahili, so I don't know. But we're going to have a lot of Trump babies with Trump spunk. $1,000 a jar. You can maybe make five or six kids out of this. I have very strong spunk. Go Mr. ahead. President, can you bring that over here, too, so I can hold it close to the camera? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, let me come this way. Or I'll let you let me, hold it up. Yeah. And get a close-up Can we get, that. you tell me. You tell me where I am. Closer, you tell closer, me. closer. Closer, yeah. closer. There we closer. go. This is authentic labeling. That's, look at that. I want to just show you this. Very it's low. not that chunky stuff. It's very clear. It's very healthy. I mean, there's sediment at the bottom. That's that's Don Jr. down here and Eric and you know what I mean? But all over the, here too. up here, over here. This is the Trump spunk. You can get this. Thousand dollars a jar. It's absolutely incredible. You shit. Don't shake it. Just let it. Let the, the good stuff uh, go to the top. The cream rises to the top, folks. The cream rises to the top. It's true. It's true. Uh, and I, if you are watching, please, please subscribe. Follow here on the Tickety Talk. Subscribe on the YT. We have 104,000 on the YT. We have almost 6 million on the Tickety Talk. We need you. We need you so we can keep this going week after week. Go ahead. We have a question. Yes, it's Pammy Sue Baker, Miss Louisiana. Pammy Sue, gosh, I love you. I love your energy. I love From your energy. From the Magnolia pageant paper. Mm. Listen, um, oh, could we go back up oh, there? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, uh, that was, so many was, questions. It was Jack so many Box, questions. and he said, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. That's very important on the questions. Is sir, there sir, a scope sir. for Rudy to come back once you're in the White House again? Oh, say that. What's the question again? Is there a scope? Maybe he needs a spa a for spot. Rudy. Oh, of course, there's, there's always a spot for Rudy. Everyone loves the drunk uncle at a wedding, and that's really Rudy's position. I'll never take legal advice from Rudy, but you have to, you gotta love Rudy. He's so much fun. He wears the funny shorts, and he's on the golf course, and he's swinging that stupid butter. We love Rudy. Uh, he, you know, he's not the brightest guy, you know what I mean? But he's, uh, he, he's a good guy, and he's fun to have around. So yes to Rudy. Yes to Rudy. We're gonna get, listen, we're gonna get the band back together once I'm in the White House. We're gonna have we're gonna have uh, Mike Lindell. We're gonna have Sidney Powell. We're gonna have all the crazies. It's gonna be fantastic. Biden. Oh come on, man. What's going on, Cracker Jack? Boring White House. <laughs> Boring White House. My White House. It'll be absolutely so entertaining. It'll be your favorite show. Go ahead. Go ahead. This lady. Yes, it's Emma Simon again from the grammatically correct British news. Oh, the British lady. I love the British people. Great people. Yes. Fantastic um, people. Jen Simon. Jen, I'm sorry. Jen Zwan says, Sir, 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 are you to be the next biggest spunk donor? Oh. And uh, without taking responsibility for your people. 
I, I am the biggest, I'm like the, the national distributor of Trump spunk. Don't be fooled by knockoffs. This is the real stuff. You can tell it's dated and it's ready to go. We can ship it directly to you so you can have a Trump baby in you in no time. This is going to be huge. By the way, commercials for this are going to break this week on this channel. Don't miss out. <laughs> All right. We got a question. This gentleman, you are? My name is Steve. Steve. Oh, Steve from Dallas. Steve from Dallas. You, Steve? I'm back again. Good to see you, buddy. I, he's got the folks. He has the biggest MAGA hat on I've ever seen. I love when the reporters are just so upfront. Go ahead. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of getting the band back together, name your top three favorite bands of all time. Well, I would say number one, Lee Greenwood. Number two, Lee Greenwood. Number three, Kid Rock. Number four, Lee Greenwood. And number five, uh, Wang Dang Putang by the great, um, what's his name? Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. I, so it's Lee Greenwood, Ted Nugent, and Kid Rock. Uh, not in any particular order, but we do, we do. Oh, and Three Doors Down. They played at my first inauguration. In fact, they were the only ones to play at my inauguration, which was sad. But it was great because it was fantastic. Over here, down in front. This question comes from Vegito. Vegito! That's a, ooh, that sounds like something else, Vegito. <laughs> you might want to think and change of that one. Vegito. Vegito asks. Vegito. I like it, though. Must be Italian. Must be Italian. Are you still friends with Kanye? I am still friends with Kanye. You know why? Because Kanye always has a hot woman on his arm. As I always said, all you need is a hot woman and money, and you'll be very, very successful. I do have to say, his current girlfriend, who has a great body, she looks like Tommy Davidson, a little. Just a little bit. Go ahead. We've got a couple of people with uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Karen. I'm just Karen. Karen, just yeah, Karen. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah. just Karen. Yeah, Sharon Mick brought up a very good point. She mm. said, before you forget, just smash that like button. Smash that like button. Fantastic. Or the algorithm. That helps the algorithm. If you're watching right now, just take a split second. Hit the like button. It's a huge help with the algorithm. We can go. We can be pushed out to more people. And we've got... Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, I tap. Over here. Oh, yeah. We want you to tap, tap, tap on the tickety tap. Hit the like button on YT and also subscribe. It's totally free. We put out tons of content and it's funny. It's funny. Go ahead. Down here in the front. You have a donation from Mike Timmons for $1.99. Mike Timmons. Thanks, Mike. Um, and Mike asks after your coronation, will LV be renamed Trump? Uh, well, you know what? I think everyone knows that Las Vegas is my second home. I love it here. We have the great Trump Tower right on the Strip. And what do I always say, folks? If it's not a Trump hotel, it's a dump hotel. That's what I always say. It's a beautiful place. And I love, love, love Las Thanks Vegas. It doesn't chat. matter where you're from. Las Vegas is the complete opposite. It's the only city that can get a girl to your room in less time than it takes the pizza, which I think is fantastic. It's really wonderful. So we're changing Las Vegas to Trumpville. Well, Ville is, we'll, we'll figure something. Trump City. Trump City. I like it. Write that down. Trump City. All right, go ahead. We have a question. Yeah, this is Pammy Sue Baker again. Miss Louisiana. Miss Louisiana. Yeah, you know, we is... love Louisiana. We love Louisiana. It's a great state. Yes, it's a fantastic you know, we're state. below sea level. That's you're why... below sea level, and you're like 50th in education, and I love the poorly educated. I'm sorry. I, I don't really understand do. what you're saying. Okay, I knew okay. it. That's why. But we eat a lot of seafood half the time. We just open our mouths, and it just, it just swims goes right, right in. in. It just goes right it's in. so nice. Like Bubba Gump. Bubba Gump, right? Yeah, I know him. Yes. I, yeah, and okay. Anyway, so um, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. It's a personal mm -hmm. question. I just want to know. You're what... lucky you're so pretty. You're lucky you're so pretty. Go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Should we go to the bathroom? Not right now. Oh. A little later. A little... Are you married? Are you married? Not at the moment. Oh, see that? That's perfect. Yes. It kicks back in at noon. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. fine. Go ahead. Go ahead, sweetie. You're going to make me blush. You're, you're just turning red. Oh, Look, can out. you see this, folks? She's just turning red. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, but Melania did give me full immunity. Go right I ahead. almost look like the color of your um, dictatorship. My dictatorship. <laughs> yep. Dictator. That We're making little like t tater tots now. The brand is Dictator. I yeah. think you'll love those. Oh, and of it? course, we have the Trump spunk, since you're talking about Dictator. Yeah, uh, was go. that for your phallus member? That's that is for our platinum plutonium members only. They gotta they gotta join this. <laughs> I see, I see. So Pammy Sue has a question. I just want to ask you about the color of your 
makeup that you wear on your face. Your bronze are so nice. Well, I know what it is. It's called Coco Tan. It's Mayron Coco Tan. <laughs> I put that on. It seals me. It makes me look good. Makes my eyes pop. See how blue my eyes are? Makes my eyes pop. It really does a fantastic job. And by the way, being orange is my brand. People go, you're orange. I go, I, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Being orange is very, very important. We have a question down in front, right there. This one comes from One with the Universe, who one is a member. One with the Universe. One with the Universe. I'll read it exactly how it is. From Salem, Oregon. Sir, 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 mm -hmm. are you proud your admin use providing an Ambien more than any other admin? Spending a hundred thousand on brand drugs rather than using generics, handing it out like candy. Well, I read that story, and we did have a dispensary in the White House. But you can't get done what we got done uh, unless you have access to certain uh, pharmaceuticals, especially Ambien and the Provisual. Uh, that was everyone accused. Listen, there's nothing wrong with sleeping, and there's nothing wrong with being awake. So don't make it seem like it's something it's not. Drugs in the right form. Uh, uh, by the way, by the way, uh, we're made of a lot of drugs. It's called chemistry, folks. It's called chemistry. And no one knows that better than me because I'm a stable genius. Life itself is impossible without chemicals. Go right ahead. Yo, 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 Mr. Oh, you're back. Mr. T, it's I love how money. Your, I love how your hat's to the side with the brim over here. That's great. 45 TV, Mr. T. Listen. Yo. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ralph's whoa, whoa, house. Whoa. Ralph's house. Ralph is in the house. He says, sir, sir, sir. I'm sir, desperately sir, sir. trying to learn that little dance you do to impress the ladies. Can you demonstrate that slowly? I think he's talking about the YMCA. I finish all of my rallies with YMCA unless he's talking about the macho man. The macho man. So this is how I do the macho man. So if you're a white guy, you go like this. Or you do this. Or you do. Now for YMCA, it's a lot more demanding. You have to spell the word YMCA. Oh, we have something on from the tickety dot. Well, we have twenty hats towards your YMCA. Almost halfway. We have twenty. Okay, just so everyone knows who's watching. If we, how many? What's our goal? Fifty. If we get 50 hats on the tickety tock, you can't see it on the YT, but we get Thanks 50, I'm going to do chat. the YMCA dance. So I'll preview it right now. YMCA. Da, 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 da. That's it. That's it. And the, and all the uh, my team is going to help me and all the reporters are going to help me do the music. Hold on. I had to take a water break. Hold on. I'm going to come back to our, our male reporter in a second. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you notice how big my hands are? This is a regular sized bottle of water. Look at my hands. Will you look at that? Huge hands. And you know what they say? Big hands, big gloves. All right, the guy in the back is my buddy. Uh, how you doing, Mr. President? Good to see you, buddy. This is a Lil Puff from the 420 Tribune. Oh, from the uh, Stoner Magazine. <laughs> yeah. What's up? I could see the cloud come in when you came in. Yes, sir. There uh, you go. Uh, speaking of I'm the drugs. I'm getting a contact high. I'm getting a contact high. Uh, hold on. Okay, okay, go right ahead. Speaking of the drugs, what's your uh, take on the marijuana? Well, you know, I'm not a marijuana guy. As you know, I don't drink, but I, I like... Take a city, take a city like uh, Las Vegas. Uh -huh. They have 150 cannabis shops, and that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And I like anything that makes a lot of money and is legal, and is legal. Uh, so I'm, I'm all for cannabis. I think it's fantastic, and it makes people a little more relaxed. Go right ahead here. Couple announcements. Uh, Love announcements. In relation to the last question and who asked it, we do have 420 concurrent viewers right now on 420 YouTube. concurrent Woo! viewers, I like that. It matches, it matches. What do we have, yeah. 10,000 over here? I think we're oh, we've got 20,000 over there. Fantastic. And uh, you, you did get a donation from Satsur for 9.99. Thank, thank you, you Satsur. Yes. Woo! Hey, awesome. by the way, if you're watching on YT right here, we need you to hit that like button. I want to get that over 100 at this point. I think we've got double digits. We've got thousands of people watching. Hit that yeah, like button. Hit, it helps with the algorithm. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's totally free. We put out multiple pieces of content a week. A week. You're going to love it. Go ahead. 
It's Diane Davis from Gefilte Diane, Fish Magazine. Diane, how are you? How is Bert, by the way? How He's is Bert? okay. He's you know, okay. We just came okay. back from a vacation. Yeah, it was we're always nice. on vacation. We're always on vacation. So uh, Sat Serb says he's originally from Yonkers, New York. You know, really? I'm from yes. I'm no from wonder Yonkers. he likes me. Hold on, let me fix my hair. Oh. Okay, there we go. Did it work? You Did look it work? Fabulous. Thank you. These days, spending the time between Jay, Vermont, Daytona Beach, and Albuquerque, New Mexico Ranch, as per your location request, I like you, sir. I don't even own luggage. Who doesn't own luggage? Satser. Oh, Satser doesn't own luggage? That's uh, what You know he what? Says. I, lo- I, I tell you what. I love women who can travel light, and any guy who can travel without luggage is very cool. Is very cool. I just have to say that, Sat Surf, because I always have to travel with at least two of these suits, two of these ties, two of these shirts, two of these pairs of pants, and of course, shoes. That's me. Go, we got multiple grand. Let's go here and then here. Say hi to the double time twins. Oh, hello, double time twins. I love the double time twins. If you're watching on the Tickety Talk, these two are amazing. Follow the double time twins. They're good friends of mine. They're absolutely beautiful. They're so talented, and they're from New York. They're from New York, where I just got kicked out of, which is sad. All you right. also just got an age restriction on your tickety talk. So. How did I get Thanks an age restriction? Super chat. Whatever you were talking about. What, what <laughs> was I talking about there? I said they were, what are they, 10 years old? Go ahead, over here. <laughs> uh, quick announcement. Tom Dagg sent you, I believe, is one euro. Uh, it's the first super on a live stream. Oh, the Thank first you, super Dagg. ever. Woo! That's Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much. Who was that again? Tell me. A Tom Dagg. Tom Dagg, thank you, Tom Dagg. You've done something that's never been done before on one of my pressers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. These are the wonderful, wonderful people that make it possible for me to be on every single week. So if you're watching, subscribe. It's free. If you want to become a member, become a member. But most of all, hit that like button right now. We want to get that over 100. We need you to hit like, like, like. All right, go ahead. Next question. Hello, it's Emma Simon again from Hello, the Emma. grammatically correct British news. I love the Brits. I love the yes. Brits. Uh, Kenny Evil says, where are the Yeezys I sent you? The Yeezys? Oh, the shoes. Oh, the shoes. Yes, I have them on right now. I can't show my feet, but I'm wearing They're very comfortable. The Yeezys are very comfortable. I have to say, Kanye makes great clothes. I don't like the leather running shorts. I think that doesn't really work, but the Yeezys are fantastic. I wear them around the house, and uh, and my son Baron says they're dope. They're dope. I guess I guess that's a good thing. I, I don't love. Know. I don't know. Go ahead, right down in front. This comes from William Johnson, sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. I love it. Next time you see John D, please tell him that he's the king of impersonators, and it's always a delight to watch your videos. Thank you, sir, sir. sir. Oh, th- that's great. Th- th- my fr- th- I'm on the Johnny D channel right now because YT won't let me be on. They're terrible people, but they just said how much they love Johnny D. I love Johnny D. Johnny, thank you for letting me be on your channel, and I'm going to thank you by having everyone who's watching hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We're at 104 thousand followers and we need you to subscribe it's totally free and if you're watching on the tickety talk make sure you start following me we got close to six million six million over here over here this question comes from tyrell adams tyrell tyrell sir ahead, sir tyrell. sir what did you tell the loser when he called you to tell you tell you he's oh, dropping out yes you know what, uh, 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 Ron the backstabber, who in the first place came to me on his knees. He came into the. He came in on his knees. He was literally on his knees. Sir, 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 please, President Trump, sir, uh, omnipotent, sir, will you please give me the backing to be governor? And I said, oh, I don't know, Ron. Things are pretty bad. You'll never win this. Oh, sir, 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 with your endorsement. I endorsed him, and four hours later, he was governor. And within a very short time, he took out a knife. And he stuck it in my back because that's what he is. He's Ron Disloyal DeSantis. It's so sad. Ron De Poopstain. That's what I call him. Go ahead. President Trump, Anthony from WESPN.com. Anthony, how are you from doing, WESPN? Doing well, doing well. I just want to know, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Uh, I would have to go with LeBron, even though he has said very unflattering things about me. But I think on a head-to-head matchup, it would have to be LeBron. What do you think? What do you think? You think I'm right? You think I'm right? 
Uh, yes. See, see that? Yes. See that? So he know he's from e- e- PPPN or whatever. E- ESPN. 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 Yes. Go ahead, Pam. Hi there. It's yes. It's Pam Yeager from the Totally Entitled News Service. Totally entitled. I yes. like that. And um, oh, who was she? Uh, anyway, somebody wants to know. Oh, Applehead Twenty Twenty just wants to know, and we do too. Shouldn't you be in court right now? I was in court. And they said nasty things about me, and I left. I stormed out because nothing shows your maturity and your sophistication than storming out of a courtroom. It was very dramatic. And I said to the judge, you're out of order. You're out of order. And he said, you're out of order. You're out of order. And that's like Al Pacino. Al Pacino, who who I like. I like Al Pacino a lot because Al Pacino is like, he's got that over-the-top thing. Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! Go ahead. Uh, an announcement and a question. You do have 28 out of 50 hats on TikTok, so just yes. over the halfway point. Thanks, everyone. tickety yeah. talk. Do the hats and let me know when they come up. I'll do the pachir, 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 sure. pachir. Yeah. But we're going to do the YMCA at the end with everybody. And yeah. there's a question everybody. from Lettuce right. Salad. Lettuce Salad. I like that name. I don't like salad, and I'm not crazy about lettuce, but I like that name. <laughs> sir, 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 your highness. Ooh. That's, that really, I almost have tears in my eyes, and I don't cry. I don't cry. I had my tear ducts removed, so go ahead. During your great first term, beloved Melania promoted her Be Best anti-bullying campaign. Did you learn anything from it? I learned that non-bullying doesn't work. The only thing that works is bullying. You gotta bully people. You gotta bully Ron DeSantis. You gotta bully Nikki Haley. You gotta bully Joe Biden. Bullying works. Bullying works. Everyone's like, oh, oh, don't, don't, don't bully people. Bully people. Why? Why? Some of the greatest people I know were bullies. I'm a bully. My dad was a bully. Hopefully my sons will be bullies. I think bullies are incredible. And if you read the Bible, a lot of bullies in the Bible come up. The, the people who, do you think Jesus was very nice? I don't think so. God wipes out entire countries. You know what I mean? That's bullying, folks. Even God's a bully. God's a bully. I like that. Go ahead. Emma Simon, again from the grammatically correct British news. Love the British. Yes, Ollie P says, sir, sir, sir. You said hitting the like button helps Al Gore rhythm. Does that mean Al Gore will be able to do the macho dance and YMCA? Well, I think Al Gore could do the macho dance. And from what I understand, he invented the internet. I think that's what they say. I don't know. I had nothing to do with the cyber. But uh, Baron loves the cyber. He's like a cyber expert. Now, I'm like a cyber expert because I'm on the cyber all the time. So I think that would be true. So everybody who's watching, hit that like button right now and subscribe if you're not subscribed over here send me a hat we're going to do the ymca dance if we get enough go ahead this question comes from screams who is a brand new member oh screams i like that what a great let's make some noise for screams we're going to keep it going thank you screams thank you so much screams asks sir 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 would you challenge bird brain to an aptitude test live on tv this i want to do this i keep hearing about this i want to challenge nikki by the way by the way her name's not nikki and it's not even Haley. Like, that's her middle name. Her name's like, you know, whatever an Indian name would be. Not uh, not Vivek, but, you know, something not like that. It's very similar. But I would challenge her because I took the cognitive test. I'm so good with the cognitive. No one knows the cognitive the way I know the cognitive. I could ace that test so fast. I know a hippo. I know a rhino. I know a giraffe. Man, camera, woman, TV. This is very easy for me, folks. I would ace Nikki Haley. Where did she go to school? I went to the University of Pennsylvania where I graduated first in my class. I even started my own university, Trump University, where we have some wonderful, wonderful athletes and smart people. Uh, We had to close it. It was so successful. Go ahead. Uh, Zaphoid, Beetle Bronx. Oh, it's oh, Pam. Oh, I remember that. Oh, it's Pammy Sue Baker. Hey, Pammy <laughs> Sue. <laughs> Miss How Louisiana. are you, honey? Okay, so, um, hey, wait a second. Jen Wan says, Sir, 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 are you aware of an old UK seaman song, Bully in the Alley? Say that again. Bully. Bully in the Alley. Bully, a bully in the Alley? Yeah, that's what bully she in says. The, uh, it's a, what is it, a seaman song? It's a UK seaman song. Oh, it's a seaman song. Speaking about seaman, we have Trump Spunk 
up for sale right now, $1,000 a jar. I can guarantee four or five children in this jar alone. This, look at this. This is a lot of semen, folks. This is a lot of Trump spunk. I don't know that particular um, uh, semen song, but I've got my own semen song right here, and it's fantastic. Go ahead. I'd sing for that, too. Just saying. Yes. Uh, do we have a, do we, anything happening over here on the ticket? You why there's an age restriction. Why? Because Trump's punk. Well, she she said oh, they don't know what spunk is. They don't know what spunk is. <laughs> hi, hi. Go ahead. It's uh, it's it's Diane Davis. Diane, how are you? Fish Diane. Yes, hello from Tob Dag. He says hello, sir King, of all. King? What is your opinion on Mexican people now and the wall? Will you finish it? Well, when, here's the thing when about Jack the. What's that? Was Went back in power? Yeah, back in power. This is the first thing. Day one, we're going to finish. I'm going to be a dictator, by the way. I've already said this. We're going to be a dictator. We're going to get the wall done because the Mexican baby machines are streaming into the U.S. like Swiss cheese or fondue or some cheese. And let me tell you, well, you know what's good to the Mexican cheese with the five flavors? I think that's always good. But the fact of the matter is we have to build the wall. And I've been saying this since 2015, 2,000 miles long. 50 feet high with a Trump hotel on top, every 100 miles facing the U.S. direction. We will save so much money. You think the economy is good now under Biden, which is only because I'm running? It's going to be even better. We got to finish the wall. But I want to say this. I want to say this. I love the Mexican people. Great people, hardworking people. And I love their food and their culture. I love the Oompa and the Quasadillas and the, uh, the Taco Bowl the taco bowl, which was invented in New York by me at Trump Tower. This is how much I, and listen, what would be my dream date? Me with Selma Hayek. I think that would be incredible. She's Mexican, so how can I hit Mexican people? Go right ahead. This question comes from TV Daryl. TV Daryl, I love TV Daryl. He's a big, big TV producer. If you're watching him, follow him, folks. He's a, He's very big and he's very funny. Go ahead. He asked, is the Trump spunk approved by the FDA? No, the <laughs> FDA, it, it, this is I not approved. This too. is, know who this is approved by? It's approved by God, uh, and uh, which is, because he and I speak all the time. Uh, this is approved by me. You don't need the federal DA, what is it? Di, f, f, food and drug, oh, food and drug. You don't need Food and Drug Administration. You can't trust them. They're all part of the deep state, but you can trust me. Go ahead. It's Pammy Sue Baker, Miss oh, Louisiana. You're so upbeat and happy. I love that. Yes, G M A S says, Sir, 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 is David Duke my ex boyfriend? Oh. Your running mate? Well, David Duke, who I've never heard of, I've heard he's done great work over the years, uh, but I've never heard of David Duke, even though, David, if you want to. Call me, call me up, that would be great. Uh, I, I hear you sell tiki torches, which I think is wonderful. I love tiki torches. But uh, I don't think he would be my VP. I don't think he'd be, my, maybe Stephanie Stefanik. Is it Stephanie Stefanik, is that her name? I, I just talked to her the other day. There's so many people vying to be vice president. So many, Vivek wants to be VP. Uh, I'm sure Nikki Haley is going to come to me on hand, hands and knees begging me. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Can I be the VP? I don't think so, Nikki. But while you're down there, you know what I'm talking about, folks. So many people. Go right ahead. Hi, it's Karen. You know, just Oh, hi, Karen. Karen. You're so yeah. serious. Uh -huh. You're so well, serious, you Karen. Know, this is what we, where's the manager here? Uh, <laughs> Marty Mo says, sir, 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 is there a disclaimer for your new product? Oh, the course is a disclaimer, and if you see the commercial, it'll go over all of those kind of things. I cannot be held liable. We can't guarantee, well, we can't guarantee anything. You know what I mean? We don't know what's going on down there for you. We know what's going down there for me, and we've made the best spunk humanly possible, but I don't know what's going to happen with you. And by the way, you never can sue me, say it's your kid, you know, all that kind of stuff. We will have a disclaimer. Go right ahead. Steve from Dallas again. Steve, there's my buddy. How are you, pal? Talking about the uh, the Trump spunk. Uh, can you give us your thoughts on the WNBA? The WNBA? Boring. Who wants to see a bunch of chicks running up and down a court for 45 minutes? Let me tell you something. I cannot think of a more boring sport. Maybe 
maybe paint drying. Women, basketball, have you been to the games? 10, 15 people show up, and they're directly related to the players. I mean, come on. It's not really a sport, and they shouldn't be paid any money at all. They should do it on a volunteer basis. Go right ahead. Next, down in front. This question comes from Jolly Roger. Oh, Jolly Roger. I remember Jolly Roger. Always good comments, Jolly. Hello, Tickety Talk. Go right ahead. They asked, what do you think of the comments questioning your cognitive abilities? Can you repeat horse, cat, goldfish, elven? Horse, cat, Elvis, golden? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I started. Horse, cat, Elvis, elven. <laughs> Uh, I can say that. I can say that. I have no problem with the cognitive. I, I'm very good with the cognitive, ver folks. I'm very, very sharp. And that's why when people talk about apples and oranges, I'm always like, well, the apples, of course, but the oranges are good. Go right ahead. Meow, meow, meow. Mm -hmm. It's brrr, from the furry news. Oh, the furry news. I hear this is very popular now. The yeah. furries are very popular. Yes. My they probably like my hair. They oh. probably like my hair. Meow, Go right meow, ahead. Meow, yes. Looks like a good licking. Mm. Yeah. Kitty Witty says, sir, sir, sir. Kitty Witty. Mm, meow, meow. Mm. Uh, are your conservative Christian followers okay with your Trump spunk? Meow, meow. Oh, I would think they would because this is part of the Bibble. The part of the Bible that says, be fruitful and multiply, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to repopulate and we're going to remultiply the United States of America. You know, God is God made us in his image, but we are going to make America in my image with Trump. Spunk. Order it today. It's only a thousand dollars. And if you order today, we'll throw in another jar for a thousand dollars. That's two jars for two thousand dollars. But think of the joy that a Trump baby will bring you. <laughs> All right, let's move. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, you know, I love my Diet Coke. I just want to show how big my hands are compared to this full size. Diet Coke can because all I do is I hit the button and it shows up. Where's my button? Oh, there it is. It's I just this is on my desk at the White House. I can't wait to get to use this again. I'm crushing everybody else. I'm crushing everybody else. I'm crushing Nikki. I'm crushing Ron DeSantis. And when I do, I get a Diet Coke. Yes, Coca Cola. Maybe you could be my sponsor for the next one. But currently, we've got Trump Spunk. All right, moving on. Pam Yeager, totally entitled news. You are totally <laughs> entitled, Pam. I like that about you. You're like me. You're my kind of woman at Mar-a-Lago. Go ahead. It's so fabulous over there. Oh, my God. The Isn't gold it great? has gold on Isn't it. Isn't it great? Oh Best God. club sandwiches ever. Yes. Ever. Ever. You have to be in the club. To in the club. club. Yes. You have to be in the club. It's yes. only $250,000 to join. Why does everyone complain about that? Yeah. So lettuce salad oh. says, I hope it's not cheap imported spunk. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is real. This is not Mexican spunk. This is my spunk. I have made this spunk myself. It's certified. We have it on video. We're going to be putting that up on OnlyFans. You can see your spunk created live in real time. It's going to be absolutely incredible. But you have to order right away. I have no idea how long I can make this daddy sauce. You know what I mean? It's taking a lot out of me, literally and figuratively. Figurative. Go ahead, down in front. Since we're on the subject, uh, this question comes from TV Daryl. Is there a money back guarantee on Trump's phone? Nope. No money back guarantees. No refunds. No returns. Void were prohibited. And it doesn't work in New Hampshire or Vermont. Sorry, that's their rules. That's not my rules. Go ahead. Oh, did I see money come in? Did I see yeah, money? Yeah, actually, this came from Falco. We haven't Falco! seen him in a little while. Hi, Ladies and make some noise for Falco. Yes! First, he's... We've got about 50, 60 people here today. Falco is great. Falco was one of the... Wasn't Falco the first member or one Falco of the first... Falco was the first member. Falco yes. was our first member. Uh, since then, he and I have been inseparable. We've spent a lot of time together. We correspond frequently frequently we love the falco he was a big pop star in the 80s and now he's retired people think he passed away he's not he's just secretly it's like elvis elvis is still alive no one talks about that right here so falco's donation came with a comment said your royal highness i have a question thanks for the super chat did, I, did, it, did my hair just collapse oh, hold on hold <laughs> on we have a hair emergency we have a hair emergency Thanks okay, for the go super ahead. chat. Okay, I'll read his questions, and you got another one, too. Uh, Falco asked, Your Royal Highness, my question is, 
In light of your proposal to terminate various immigrant protection programs, should we expect a new line of Trump-branded luggage specifically for those you plan to deport, complete with GPS trackers for your personal monitoring and fun? Oh, that's a great idea. That's Falco? Yeah. Wow, that's a fantastic idea. We're going to be giving the uh, the Mexican baby machines as they cross over luggage, and then we can track them. I think this is absolutely fantastic. We're going to make Falco Secretary of the Interior or Homeland Security, because these are fantastic ideas, I have to tell you. Go right ahead. This donation comes from Bear X Bunny. It's their first super on a live stream. Oh, Thank you. Bear X Bunny. You probably saw that like right there. That was fantastic. Thank you, Bear X Bunny. They a donated super. $10 and asked, Sir, 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 do you have nightmares of Nikki Haley winning? And if so, do you think she will put you in jail where you belong? Well, first off, I don't like Nikki. Secondly, that's not her name. Third, she already said she would pardon me and not let me go to jail. Not that I will. Not that I will. And I don't have nightmares because I don't remember anything. I don't have dreams. I don't have nightmares because I only sleep like two hours a night and I sleep in a chamber, which helps me speed up the uh, sleeping process. So, Nikki, you're not running space in my head, bird brain, but I'm probably running space in yours. Go right ahead. Hello, it's Emma Simon from the Grammatically Correct Hello, British Emma. News. Hello, Emma. Oh, I love grammatical questions. Oh, good. This, I love grammatical questions. This one's no from one knows Ralph grammar. DeCosta. And he says, when you rewrite the Constitution, will it start he the people? Oh, I like that. He <laughs> the people. Well, I was thinking of just getting rid of the entire Constitution. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of outdated. But if we do keep the guy, who's this from again? I just make sure I say his name. Ralph DaCosta. Ralph DaCosta. What we're going to do is first thing, day one, and I said I was going to be a dictator, but we're going to make the Second Amendment the First Amendment. We're going to get rid of the First Amendment. We're going to keep the Third, Fourth, and definitely the Fifth Amendment, but we're going to get rid of the Fourteenth Amendment because they say I have cognitive decline. Choose me. That's not true. And that there was no um, party at the... Uh, at the Capitol on the 6th. I'm not going to use the I word because they'll probably pull me on both of these. Go ahead. Johnny Shabazz donated at 23.45 in Canadian dollars. Wow. Yay! Thank you, Johnny. That's outstanding. And the 45, he's got me on there for 45. I like that. 23.45. Okay, 23 is my favorite number. Did you have a question with Yes. That? Uh, Johnny wrote, Sir, 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 will you be dispensing with the nuisance of requiring a VP along with the Constitution? I have been, this is amazing. People are reading my mind. I was literally just saying we're going to get rid of the Constitution. And by the way, people keep saying, I want to be your VP. I want to be your VP. How did that work out last time? As Dr. Phil would say, how's that working out for you? Didn't work out great. We almost hung Mike Pence because he was so awful. So I have an idea. I don't need a VP. And did you know this? Did you know this? You know what the VP used to be? It used to be the loser in the election. That's what they used to do. I don't want a loser and I don't want a VP. And honestly, I don't want a constitution. Go right ahead. We have Mike Timmons, and he donated a dollar ninety-nine. Mike has been Thanks, really, Mike. Mike, you've been on it. And uh, yo, I'm P Money. P Money. Forty-five TV. Yo, Woo! TV. Listen, Mike Timmons says, "Who will be in the Super Bowl?" Who will be in the Super Bowl? Whoever are the two best teams that the NFL wants them in there? Because, folks, I hate to tell you, it's all about money. It's all about money. The uh, Super Bowl is rigged. It's rigged from the beginning. They're all. Ta- I mean, look, you know, I, I look at the Philadelphia Eagles. Look at the uh, look at the uh, Dallas Cowboys. We have a friend from Dallas right here. Isn't it rigged? Isn't it rigged? The whole Dallas thing. It's all yes, rigged. Yes, That's rigged. Right. Yeah, Steve here. Show. Sorry, I fell asleep for a second. That's I'm sorry. Okay, my apologies. Steve. You had a long drive in your pickup truck from Dallas, <laughs> yeah. but the whole thing. What is going on with Dallas? Jerry Jones, who's a very good friend of mine. But they, they messed it all up. So I think it's going to be rigged. Uh, go go right ahead. Um, I would say KC, though, if they if they end up in there. Go we're ahead. up on time, sir, but I wanted to request. We have, 29, oh we have 29 hats on TikTok. Do you think we could do 30 hats and do the YMCA? Can we do can we 30, 30 hats? hats? Can somebody give me one, can more can hat? one more hat? One more hat. We'll do. We'll get everybody to Official sing. Half-time. 
really want you to do the YMCA. Let's do the YMCA. This is a great way. We're over on time on YT and on the Dickity Talk. We just need one more hat. Tell me when we get it, and then I'll do the uh, the the Mavericky kind of thing. It'll be tremendous. It'll be absolutely tremendous. Uh, and but while we're waiting, I just want to mention. Trump spunk, it drops this week, not literally, because it'd be a mess, but we, you can order these. We're putting out the ad this week, probably on Monday, Monday, what do you think, Cash? Monday, we'll put it out up yeah, on Monday. Monday. We'll Woo, get it. We got it. it. Pachoo, 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 pachoo. All right, everybody, start singing. Here we go. One, two, three. YMCA. 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 It's got everything for your man to enjoy. You can hang out with all the boys. And da, 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 da. YMCA. Let's get our reporters up here. Keep it going. YMCA. All right, our reporters are coming up. We got Pamela. We've got Mikey. Everybody, we're going out. This is These are two very well-known Las Vegas comedians who were my reporters this week. You're going out. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe on the Tickety Talk. Follow. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. This was huge. Mate, you're a very funny guy. I love this character. <laughs> Loved all your characters. We'll see you next week. And by the way, next week, Chet, is it Chet or Chip? Is it Chet or Chip? Chip. 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 Chip is returning. Our reporter, our most liked reporter, most requested reporter, Chip will be back and it'll be huge. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Woo!